Hello, Triple Fiber is coming to you from Minnesota where it's over 10 degrees below zero right now, very chilly. And I'm here to talk about these Sorel Dominators. Now these are not something that you will be able to find in the store, but there's something I wanna show you about these boots. They are made by Kaufman, the Canadian company that previously owned Sorel before Columbia took them over. Now about three years ago, I did what could probably be described as a hit piece on the modern Sorels. And the one thing that I felt like was lacking in that video was showing you what you can still find if you look. Now these Sorels were purchased by a friend of mine off of Craigslist for a very reasonable price. And the quality of the boots that he's getting for, I think he paid somewhere under $20 greatly exceeds what you can find if you buy new Sorels. So in this video, I'm gonna show you very closely what kind of details make this boot a very nice quality winter boot and talk a little bit more about the history of Kaufman and the reason why brands like this should probably be revived or restructured from a manufacturing standpoint. I'd like to begin by talking about Kaufman Footwear, a company in Canada, in Ontario, which produced shoes and rubber boot products for over 93 years. Founded in 1907, they were passed on from the Kaufman family and uh, famously produced the Sorel line beginning in 1959. This is the Dominator model, which is one of Sorel's best known and sturdiest models. And as you can see, this probably made mid 90s version had beautiful full grain leather there's some chain stitching at the top of the inside of the boot uh, fully gusseted tongues really high levels of construction not perfect notice that there's a little leather not tucked in perfectly under the rubber bottom but nevertheless a very solid boot uh, clearly with attention to detail that merits the term handcrafted coming out of Canada design wise it features a lot of things that you would see on the current Sorrel such as uh, this tread pattern some things were slightly different like this collar is made out of a different material the booty for the most part actually is pretty similar in design I would say that these dominators in comparison to some of the mainline Sorrels you can get now are just basically like a nice nicer version, kind of like going from Irish setters to Red Wings. Now I want to take a moment in this video to address a point that I made in my last video on the Grand Stone boots, which are made in China. For me, you can't be one dimensional about the manufacturing process and its relationship to the fundamental factor in judging the quality of gear, which is quality. Where it's made is a secondary factor. It's a significant secondary factor if you're considering bigger questions like the impact it might have on an economy or on the job market. Important questions that I don't deny are worth considering. But I think ultimately as consumers, we're really interested in getting something that is a good value and also something that is a good quality item. Now, that means that we have a global market to explore. That means that we should be looking for innovation both on our turf here in the United States uh, or in North America, but also globally. And so if a company is able to bring world-class designs from China, I'm in favor of seeing what they can do. Honestly, we do that already with cell phones, with electronics. We even do that with other gear that uh, is becoming much more mainstream. Nice, for example, uh, many very high quality flashlights are made overseas. So the discussion of whether boots need to be made in America or whether we have some kind of uh, special uh, ethical obligation to do that, I'm willing to have those conversations and I'm willing to point out cases when I think that we've lost something by going to overseas manufacturing, as in the case of Sorrel's. But I'm not going to be uh, absolute about the answers that I think a lot of these gear items and uh, questions pose. I think that we need to have a rational and ongoing dialogue about how we can really create the best products uh, that's going to benefit the global market as a whole. Thanks a lot for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, please let me know what you'd like to see in a future video in the comments below. If you're new here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And thanks a lot for watching. And I am here to talk about boots that are more than up. Hello, hi. <laughs>